Good day everyone, just going out for a little wander. Unfortunately I've got to wear the glasses when to read your comments. So we're going to take you out for a little stroll around today, have a chat, catch up. If you, if you drop in, say hello, so we know you're there. Michelle's, it's a beautiful day, yeah, spring, springtime, nearly. middle of spring, weather's picking up a little, look how blue that is. How gorgeous is that? The wind's not cold today. Got my new t-shirt on. How's that? Anyway, say hello. So it makes, um, hey Dwayne, how are you? So I can read. Isn't it a shame when you get to a certain age where you need spectacles to, to read things? Hey Jan, how are you? I'm walking over to some shops over here. I thought I'd take you over and see if we can't sneak in the supermarket, have a little look around. Um, hopefully they'll just think I'm on a on a uh, phone call and let us in. Otherwise the security might kick us out, but we're going anyway. It's a lovely day. A little bit of a wind. Where are you, Dwayne? It is beautiful today. The skies are blue. The skies are blue. What's the song, Skies Are Blue? Hi, Amy. How are you? There's a cyclist coming along, so I've got to keep a, a lookout. So we are going to go. I'll get over to this uh, right side. And Alberta, I, yeah, so you're going into your winter time. And he's just gone by. Big smile. So you're going into your winter, we're going into the summer. Look, a yellow um, Suzuki. Suzuki Swift. So what's everyone been up to? Michelle and I are on the road a little bit. We're just stopping visiting family. And then, um, hey Byron, Mr. Blue Day. I don't remember that. I'm sure I know the Procol Harum version of Mr. Blue Day. Dwayne, but off the top of my head, I always think of the ELO song, Mr. Blue Sky. So, it's different but similar. Hi, Broken Angel. You're currently visiting to Brazil and eating papaya. By Byron's in Brazil. Oh, lovely. Oh, lucky you, man. Lucky you. Papaya from Brazil. We're going to stop the cars. Zebra crossings here in Australia people will stop for you it's always uh it's always nice to say thank you Jan says hello hello Jan hi Janice ELO that's it was Mr Blue Skies I'm trying to think of the one that um sing it to me Dwayne <laughs> <laughs> I think to myself, oh, it's a wonderful day, isn't it? Yeah, um, day. It's been covered by a few people. I'm going to cut through here. So this is a typical suburb, suburban Australia. You know, you've got um, your zebra crossings, you've got your your tin. Um, this is a bus shelter, and we've got a shopping centre up here with the usual, the, the main supermarket brands, should I say, or chains over here are Coles and um, Woolworths. Yeah, we have papaya here, Byron. We do have quite good papaya. Is the sound all right, by the way? I've got a, a big um, sock on the camera to keep the wind down. Now, I'm not so, a lover of papaya. Michelle's not a big fan of papaya. <laughs> That's on their skateboards. There's a fella coming round. G'day, how are you? Got a watermelon on his face. He's got a woolworth bag. I saw that from a distance. That's for one of those mobility scooters the other day, and I, I thought it was a flag, but it's actually a Woolworth shopping bag with a, um, a watermelon on it. Hey Kelly. Wow, it's wow, it's late for Kelly, isn't it? Well, early. Are early. A, are you an early riser, Kelly? G'day, Keith. Amy, we're actually in Mornington. 
Um, Better weather than last time we were live when it was raining. Mm. So we're just going to a Woolworths out here. Not one, not a local shop for us, but we're out visiting family. And um, slippery roads. Who's got slippery roads? Jan. Look at our roads. <laughs> Super warm. Comments don't stay up long. You got to read fast. Got to read fast. You got to read gotta fast. suddenly become a. Hey, do you like my new T-shirt? My share the love t-shirt there you go now there's a real strong wind here so is that working we can see the lady um her, her uh, shawl she's wearing is blowing all over the place so um wind tunnel. it is a bit of a wind tunnel what's whereabouts are you amy it is are you in uh, victoria Amy was in Victoria, so it's snowing. Joplin says it's uh, oh, snowing. It's snowing. No snow here. Hello, Janet. Janet's um, Kelly's mum. Oh, hello, Janet. Kelly's oh, Narrow Warren. <laughs> oh, Amy's in Narrow Warren? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not a long way away. No, not too far. Great, how are you, mate? Yeah, so this is a typical shopping centre. Um, what is this, Baker's Delight? Yes. So this is a Baker's Delight. It's a little sort of bread store. These are everywhere in, in Australia, by the way. Now, is the sound going to be good now? Sound, be interesting to see how... Good, Craig. I've been to Fountain Gate a few times, Amy, um, many years ago. Nice little delicatessen here, many years ago. Um, it's a big shopping centre, right? And they have um, off, the, off the M1. Come right. Jan's in Mississippi. Oh, nice. I'm going to leave you because I've got to go and get a birthday card. Michelle's got to go and get a card. So she's got to um, have a little wander. I'm just going to hop into... This is, um, this is Woolworths. Is the sound... Jan, is the sound right? Because the ambient sound in this place is super loud. So, Michelle's going to be back in a minute. We'll have a little wander in here, see if I get into any bother. That's good, Keith. So this is our, our typical sort of green grocers, um, which is a supermarket. Green grocers, of course. So you're looking at, um, are these are things called the odd bunch. So you get the odd shaped fruit and they sell it and they call it the odd bunch. So it's sold a little bit cheaper, not that much cheaper. Ask me some questions if you need to know and we'll see if we can get around. We've got a bakery over here. Somebody asked me the other week about coming into a, a supermarket, so I'm just coming in. One of the things that's super cheap here, well, we think it's super cheap. See that behind me? That is all cookies. All cookies. There's uh, Anza cookies, double chocolate chip cookies, regular chocolate chip cookies, giant chocolate chip cookies, and what are these ones? Let me just turn you around. Um, happy cookies, double chocolate chip cookies, salted caramel dark, chocolate chip cookies and regular chocolate chip cookies. We got our pavlova cases. These are, um, if you're gonna make a pavlova, which you've seen me make on the channel before, actually the basis of to make a pavlova is just way too easy. Hey Straker, New Hampshire. It's good, I'm hoping this uh, speaker, what else can I show you around? So, that's a pavlova base, it's just the base. It says actually pavlova on the box, but if you open it up, it's just the meringue base. And I think they're about, uh, let me check the price. Because if you want to make a pavlova base, it's so easy to make. So I don't think they're that expensive. Let's have a little look here. Um, the prices are not on there. I, I got a feeling they'll probably be around about 
maybe four bucks Australian. And so you, you buy just the base and then you put your cream and your fresh fruits on top. But a homemade pavlova is a lot yummier. Oh, I've bought these before, they're okay. Oh, six dollars. So they're saying the price has dropped to six dollars and eight. Man. So that's a lot of money for basically uh, an egg and some powdered sugar. Big piles of favourites, Cadbury's favourites. The milk aisle. Two dollars for uh, two pints of milk, so it's pretty cheap inexpensive relatively you want me to take you down the uh the the, the the lolly aisle the sweet aisle what do you call it we call it lollies in you know sweets like i'm back hello sweetheart the almighty satanic loaf what country are we living in well we're actually in oh look at the nutella michelle's just get this camera Christmas Nutella. Christmas we're we're actually surviving, I should say, in Australia. But we we're so we're here. But we're not living. We're just travelling at the moment still. Oh, another one. Sorry, got to show you. So the Christmas Nutella is out. It's Rudolph. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars for yeah. how many grams? A kilo. A kilo of Nutella was about two pounds. Two pounds two, I think. <laughs> they do look, and they're super cheap, like cookies here. You know, unfortunately, the only the only food that's really, really cheap in these supermarkets nowadays is junk food. So, um, yeah, we'll take you down a junk food, I'll keep. So I've come down the wrong, these are our breakfast cereals, by the way. Just um, passed by this young lady who's getting, so we've got, uh, in the UK you have Weetabix, in Australia we have Weetabix, and they're different, they are different. We have your regular cornflakes, Crunchy nut, Sultana brands, uh, Nutrigrain. I think Nutrigrain is an Aussie brand, an Aussie cereal. I've never seen that in the US. Milo, I think, is another Aussie uh, cereal. Uh, Cocoa Loops, Fruit Loops, and oh, on this side. So d d six pounds, six dollars forty-five for five hundred grams. That's about a pound, just over a pound of. Um, uh, Nutrigrain. Australian New Zealand. What I'm pretty sure Nutrigrain is just Australian. But if you haven't had Nutrigrain, by the way, we all grew up on Nutrigrain. It's really good stuff. Uh, the, the the jellies or jams, as we call them, the brands. Colties is one of the most popular brands here. And it's on special at the moment, is it? So it's on a. Used to be three dollars forty. It's now two dollars fifty for a jar. It does look like the same as any country supermarkets the world over now. Excuse me. Okay, let's find the candy. Bear with me. Should know where they are. It's busy. It's the weekend. Do you want to take a look at the chips? Show. Do you know which aisle the candy's in? Sorry. Amy wants to sit. So you know the veggie mart, Amy. <laughs> How costly is lamb in Australia? I'll check that for you in a moment, Dwayne. We'll take, we'll go and check it out. But in a moment, I'll just show you the chips that we have here. Different brands, obviously Doritos. I think everywhere in the world we have Doritos. We have this brand, which is uh, Smith's. Two fifty for a, nah, a a reasonably large bag. 170 grams. Some odd looks. I am getting some odd looks, so let's just go down. We've got kettles. Is kettles uh, in the US as well? So let's find this candy um, store before I get kicked out. Let's find the candies. Favourite shaped like a, a great big ball ball. Right, I missed the candy aisle. It was a bit busy, we'll go back. We'll go back. The candy aisle. Okay, Dwayne, I'm going to check out the lamb. Any other price requests while I'm on? Is it bacon aisle? 
<laughs> Io Ansa Caragos wants me to say their name in a supermarket. I hope it's not rude. And that is your proper name. It's not, not a name I'm familiar with. Yeah, we call them crisps. Chips are uh, crisps, uh, chips called crisps. So lamb. Oh. So this is like the fresh cuts of, of, of the butcher, but the lamb itself. Um, what cut are we looking for, Keith? Um, uh, old shoulder, boneless, is 15 a kilo. 15 a kilo, old shoulder, boneless. So we look for a leg of lamb. So uh, leg of lamb, leg of lamb roast. 12. Uh, 12 dollars a kilo. Aussie dollars, that is. Rack of lamb, 32.50. It's really, um, it's really not bad for lamb. I think we're going to have to go to the lolly aisle. Take you down the lolly aisle. It's that way. Is it Miss not down it. this one? No, this, that's, that's the health foods. You can tell that I'm not used to never buy lollies. Take me to it, Michelle, because why does it not say up there? What does it say at the top? Ah, right. It does say. It does say lollies. Confectionery. All right. Busy aisle, this one. So these are all the sort of boiled sweets, chewy sweets. Um, Allen's is a brand over here. So you get those sort of um, party mix. These are sort of gummies. Uh, Chico's. These are sort of like a chocolate gummy, a cocoa flavoured. We've got Haribo, which is a, a German brand. Allen's is one of my, our most popular brands. And then the natural range, which we get these snakes. So these are snakes which I've used before on a few um, a few times. The lollies down here, are they? Okay, boxes of chocolates. Ferrero Rocho, usual stuff. Sorry. So, um, this is the main sort of lolly section. Now, if you look behind me, things like Kit Kats, Picnics Turkish like 85 cents a bar, so that is really cheap. That's better than the half price. Normally, what is Kelly? What's 85 cents in uh, UK pounds, for example? So 85 cents for a bar of chocolate. Y you can imagine. Hey, very Snoopy, how are you? Says they're, so they're better than half price. I'll just turn you around. Usually a dollar half price. So. They're normally two dollars so they're 85 cents cherry ripe that's a very famous aussie i don't know if you have those turkey's delight i think everyone has i like these ones at the moment not kit, that i've had too many kit kat gold flakes love flakes i mean i would this is my goodness, really chocolate i could eat all this stuff but i shouldn't and i don't i actually came here the other day to get some stuff some groceries and i was very good didn't pick up anything you have to remember, Jocelyn, that that is actually cheaper than half price at the moment. So the prices are lower than um, they would normally be. Let me take you outside. So like Finns, crisps. This is a, a, a bit like, um, I think this might even be. Smith's good, So a bit like, it's a, I think it's a Lay's chip. They have the three flavours, original, light and tangy and salt and vinegar. And then what price were they, Michelle? I tell you what's generally expensive here. Not too bad. Isn't it? Blueberries are two fifty. But no. But look at the size of the packet. And and that's considered super cheap because normally a packet of blueberries like that, when you get about maybe forty blueberries in there, would normally cost you anywhere in the region of four to six dollars. Yeah. And when we came over to the US. Um, in blueberry season we were getting like a kilo of blueberries for sort of five dollars so. so what else do we have so did you like the look around the supermarket Toblerone was there didn't see cheaper than the United States Raven North how are you Lloyd Bonafide 
What's my favourite? Um, I used to really like a boost bar, but actually they, they, now when I get them, they just taste like a big lump of sort of melted chocolate. So I'm not a big fan of them now. I don't think, I'm sure they used to have a lot of fruit and stuff in them. So there's a Mercedes dealership uh, just snuck into what used to be a really nice um, greengrocers in this place. And now they they shut down because of supermarkets, basically. Oh, yeah, hit the thumbs up. I think maybe it's a pop-up, maybe not. I'm good, Sean. Raven North, Sean. Sean, Sean. Hello, Sean. From Canada. Jacqueline, good night. Dan Murphy's is up here in front of us. Dan Murphy's is the bottle shop. So you can see there's a few uh, Mercedes peppered throughout the, the shop. They've obviously got a deal uh, to use this bit of... Got clearance on Mercedes cars. <laughs> Buy one, get one free on Mercedes. Reduce the clear. Only okay. 123,990. Okay, so 123,990 drive away. It's a Mercedes Benz um, V8. 2016, only 26,000 k's on the clock. Oh, it's second hand, is it? Yeah, it's 2016. Oh, it's second hand. <laughs> so it's a, a C63 Sport. Maybe we can have one each. Nice looking car, not my not, not my, my style car. of car. Not a big fan of cars where you've got to sort of fold yourself up to get inside them. So what else? We've got the uh, what we call tobacco stores, TSG. This is just um, all sorts of knickknacks, really. It's got a lot smaller than it used to be. And then the Aussie Post out here as well. They're shut. I have to come back to get my stamp. Shell's come to get a, a, a Christmas card to post off. And we're out, and that's it. <laughs> that is a little look round. Well, there's fish stores on the outside. Oh, we'll go around the outside. There's charcoal chicken. Uh, Aussie Post, charcoal chicken. Frozen Angel. An Ocean Catch, that's a fish and chip shop. Oh, it is clean. Most places in Australia are pretty clean. So, any questions? Okay, here's your chance to get on, on the movie to beat uh, Hollywood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I missed miss, 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 miss my chance. I missed my chance. I missed your opportunity. Oh, 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 never mind. See, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to feed his agent, but he. We don't pay well. No. I don't, no. I don't pay well, no. No. And if you take the cut of what I pay, then he's going to get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't tell him. Don't go tell him. You too, Teddy. Bye, mate. Thank you. See ya. And you got the Chinese. What recipes are, are we working on? We're, we're, at the moment, we're kind of looking towards the Christmas stuff. But um, we've got a lot of um, editing. A lot of editing to do, a lot of trips to do. Um, so we're probably starting to have a little think about stuff ready for Christmas. And then we've got a trip up to Sydney coming up. It's a good little noodle bar here, actually. I've eaten uh, noodles from here once or twice. It's about $12 for a portion of noodles. Now remember that in um, US dollars, I think is about 10 to nine to ten dollars. That's the back of the deli. That's the deli. The pantry house deli. And then you can look in the window at Baker's Delight. <laughs> and they're all looking. It is in um, Australia at Gallup. <laughs> Baker's Delight. <laughs> look at this little fella. Hello. Oh. Say hello to me. Hello. You're a calf, aren't you? Tiny little. Very soft. So, fuel over at the servo. 
have a little look what the prices are. They're really high at the moment. Let's just check out. I think it's probably going to be per litre. We don't do it per gallon here in Australia. We do it per litre. Oh, look, there's one of those Mercedes. Same car, I think. Uh, 45, was it a 60? Something? Okay. So, fuel's gone down a little from what I can see. Um, is it 140 something? 147.9. 147.9. Now that... The unleaded. Unleaded, regular unleaded fuel, 147.9. Uh, diesel is 162.9. That's per litre. So I think you've got to, for litre to get gallons, you've got to uh, times, times that by two four, and a... Four? Four, maybe? Not sure. Oh, someone do the maths for me. So let's yeah, just turn that round. <laughs> I'm good, mate. You? How are you? Where have you been? From where? Yeah. Oh, you're camping at Jumana. Yes. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Are you just, just on we your just way? We just come back from, back from a big camp ourselves. You're going to have to fill up, are you? No, I just air that tire there. All oh, right. right. Just for that off road to get to Jumana. Do you want to say hello? G'day. G'day. What's your names? Callum. Callum? Ollie. Ollie? Yeah. yeah. I've seen you guys around a bit. I've seen this fellow around somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Go on. Put the air in. Three seventy eight American gallon key. My favourite noodle is probably um, at the moment, probably Pad Thai. Um, so the lads, now I'll just turn this around so you can see them. The lads are going a bit off road, so they're going to, they're just, they've let some air out of their tyres. They're here to put them. No, um, no, no. It's got a slow leak, so we have to keep it topped up. Uh, <laughs> there's no off road between here and Germana. <laughs> oh, there's someone in the back. There's oh, someone in the back as well. Oh, we didn't oh. get you. I thought you said you were letting it down because you were going off road, but you've got a leak, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. You might as well leave it off. Keep your traction on the sand when you get down there. <laughs> Hi, Petri, how are you? Jan, yeah, it's warm. So these lads are all off down to Dramana, which is uh, about 15 20 minutes down here, lovely beachfront. Hi, Jess, how are you? Sorry. No worries. So, 85 cents, 65p. Okay, so that's 65p for a bar of whatever, you know. Uh, there were Twixes, Kit Kats, um, and the likes. So I'll, let, I'll just film these lads putting putting um, air in their tyres. So that's a nice ute. He's got a, He's probably got a. He's got his uh, tent on top. He's got a couple of rolls on there. Kings Kings on the back. Oh, you want to see see what we're up to? So this is Ollie. Was it Ollie? Ollie's come over to check out what we're doing. There he is. You want to say where? So Texas, Jack, uh, Craig. <laughs> Nanambu bars and <laughs> Christmas and good to see ya. Have a good trip. So he's got his hard yakka on. Steve's Kitchen, say hello. Mm -hmm. All right. See ya. See you on the road somewhere. So air is free. Fuel is not. We're on the phone, Steve. <laughs> hey. Have a good time, lads. Down in um, Dramana. It's nice, nice IGA down. down there. There's a good IGA down in Dramana. <laughs> I'll tell you what, lads. When you get to... Um, Dramana, pop in the IGA, there's some really good uh, charcuterie in there, good sausage, good um, good meats, good, good hams, cheeses. good cheese, get yourself some good eats. Very snoopy, please give a shout out to my lady Brecker. 
All right, Brecker. Love to you from Oz. So what's this, uh, Nanama, Nanana, Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars? Oh, that's the Canadian bars, isn't it? Oh. Remember that Tammy was talking about that Okay, time. yeah, yeah, I do remember. Hi, Brex. Is it Brecker or Becker? Oh, I like that. That's a nice colour. It's a, it's a new, it's a T4, TBI transformer. Nice colours, hey? All right, Brecker. Now we're going to go down to the kiddie park down here. This shop's a little bit awkward. It's one of these shops that, that every time we come back to this area, it's, it's shut down and it comes back as a, a different shop. No worries, very snoopy. You're all good. Good to saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Kids love being on uh, film. So yeah, I was good. You see, I didn't get any sweeties, any lollies. <laughs> and the kids down here away. I'll turn the camera around so I can see you. Girls are funny. They're only young girls. They're probably only around about nine or ten. I reckon. Eric aka SN party people. No worries. Good to have you in. So where else can we go? Supermarket's done. Let's have a little chow along. This little uh little chow along. This little bank up here is just like a mound, it's like sort of tubby tubby here. Like a mound. And the kids always sit up here and get into bother. So you can see there's a couple of them just walking up. Oh. Tell your boyfriend to give my phone back. <laughs> and that is a school, just over here. It's a nice school, actually. It's a little preschool, isn't it? One? It's a preschool. Same difference, isn't it? Like little ones, little, little ones, and they do after school. Now, I don't know if everyone else around the world has the same thing with graffiti everywhere. We have a lot of graffiti. So you'll see the, 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 the boards up here, it's graffiti, and all the, um, all along these houses. A lot of graffiti. There's a lad coming down with his skateboard. Whoa, so quick, I've got to... He, he was being cool and ignoring you. Julie, I am really good, thank you. I'm gonna walk back into the... Um, the shopping arcade, it's a bit sunny out here, a bit bright, and I haven't got my sunnies. I haven't got a hat. You got some water, got some water. No, no I'm good. You're good. Uh, there's not a lot of lovely animals, apart from that beautiful little dog that was just out here. Can you hear the um, the magpies? That's an Aussie magpie, it's sort of like um, singing up in the trees here. And quite often we see a lot of uh, green and red parrots up in these trees. Early in the day, isn't it? It's more in the dusky time. Uh, in the evening time, this little grass area over here, you get the white um, cockatiels landing. So it looks like there's loads of bits of paper all over the grass here, but it's actually cockatiels. Hundreds of them. And galah, which are a, a, a famous sort of Australian bird. It's kind of, well, I say it's famous. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. It's a, a parrot with a grey and sort of pink chest big truck going by it's done the uh, Woolworths delivery drivers notice deliveries will not be accepted between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. on Monday to Saturday 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. on Sundays turn off all engines I think that's just because there's a, a residential area back here and they don't want the noise of everybody turning up so if, if they turn up <coughs> they want you to, to to cut the engines which is good it's a community center now i'm missing some of the comments mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the, well, the, the magpies here are different than the ones you'll have over in um, south southwestern Ontario. They're not, <coughs> they're, they're a similar species. I think they're from the same genus, but they're not the same bird. We get lots and lots of parrots in, in, uh, in Australia, parrots all over the place. They're a little hard to catch sometimes. <coughs> It's up, getting a bit dry. They look like, if you've got Australian magpies, <coughs> and you'll actually see the picture of them, you can tell me if they look similar i'm pretty sure you'll find they look a bit different to the magpies they're similar markings though the black and white so they still kind of look like um parrots in tuxedos did you say or ravens in tuxedos yeah another really popular thing here in australia uh, is to have custom number plates so gaguti uh probably won't see many now but it is not uncommon do you get that where you are I've never been a big one for custom plates myself, but it's really common here. Hey Straker. Thank you for the super chat, mate. That's great. So Straker says, uh, uh, thanks for the romp through the grocery store. It's funny how the supermarkets look the same here as they do in the US, and thank you for your vlogs. No worries, Straker. Thank you. Well, I'm guessing our style of supermarket and your style of supermarket are very similar because I think they're based on very similar branding. So we have a lot, this is like a, uh, what is the big um, chemist? This one's called Chemist uh, Discount Center. Chemist Warehouse. What is the big one that's in the US? Michelle? I'll take it. <laughs> no, you don't. And don't what are we getting in? Or get thrown out so again they, they look very similar similar products Walgreens that's it Walgreens so we have two um, uh, big sort of there's the chemist discount center and there's the uh, chemist warehouse chemist warehouse that's right Walgreens and then we have these in every shopping center, you've got these key cutting, um, shoe repair centers. I think that's going to be much the same as well. These guys are often here, the paintballers. Paintball. Paintball. Hello, mate. Hello. So, tell us, do you want to come up? Do you want to be on camera? Why not? So, where's the paintballing? Uh, we've got a few. What's your name? My, uh, I'm T. T? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a few. We've been here before. It's near the, uh, yeah. near the, uh, the IKEA. Yeah. Spring Vale, so we've got the, uh, the site there. And we've, yeah, we've been a big promotion today to get people in. Yeah, we've got a nice, nice promotion. Alright, what, what, what's this? Oh, YouTube, we're just live on YouTube. Oh, we just said, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Oh, we're just... Do you want a holiday? Um, yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah, long extended holiday. No, no, no. So the paintball is <laughs> <laughs> most people in the US, there's a few in uh, the UK, there's probably a couple in Australia, there's only 20 in at the moment. But, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so paintball, you can pay per group or you pay per person? Nine well, dollars you would pay per person normally, but we're giving group packages. All right. So 80% off group packages, so you can play whenever you want. You'd have to come and see me personally because it's not an online thing, it's a see me grab it type deal but um right. yeah it's one of them well sell sell your thing here then <laughs> no 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 you're in america you can come and see me and uh, yeah you yeah um, right, amy's in um in, in melbourne isn't yes, she amy's in melbourne. hello amy amy come and play paintball yeah yeah we're doing 80 percent off i'm currently in where am i uh, I don't even know where I am. Oh my god, he's found another guy yeah. with an English accent. I'm oh, well, from England, that's why. That, that was explaining the accent. Who's that? Uh, Koi, Koi Nardi? Yes, man. A little bit of Australian accent. 
We never lose it. This fellow will never lose it. He stays here for 20 years or yeah. so. Well, still I want to keep him the same. Right. Well, yeah. it's hey, lovely to meet you. All right. Have a great trip. Be good. Be good. Shaking the left hand because that's it. Yeah, that is camera hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. Take care, mate. We, yeah, you, you 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 are. Yeah, come on then. What are you doing? This is the lovely lady that was outside who was trying to agent up my good side. a random on your not, good side. Not my side where I had the pants taken out. All oh, right, okay. Well, don't say that. We're live. <laughs> oh, are we? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So if you want to be your good side, you have to do it now. You only get one chance. Present your good side. Well, well actually, um, it is my good side because I'm blessed that I got the that I'm, I got it out. It's only as big as a freckle. So, if you've got a little freckle that's changing colour, I suggest you go and see your GP. Right. Because, because What's your name? Lisa. You heard it here from Lisa. And and yeah. it was, on the inside it was huge, like an octopus. Oh, yeah. Lisa. You know? So be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Long time. Uh, Steve's Kitchen. Steve's Kitchen? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they'll be blessed to hear about that. Pardon? On YouTube. Steve's Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So, plug us in. If you find any other talent you want to push our way, you know, for a small fee, if we can make, we can make a bit How many subscribers have you got? Oh, a couple. Yeah. Oh, better than zero. Yeah, it's better than zero. Yeah, it's lovely here, isn't it? It is beautiful. Showing the flowers, I like that. You're showing the flowers. The flowers. This has got 250 flowers. That's fabulous. Michelle's telling her the truth. I'm going to check you out. Yeah. I think you have to try to achieve it. Eric? Yes, yes. Look at his back now. Eric says she looks great on either side. Oh, Eric. Eric, are you single and ready to mingle? <laughs> are you looking for a long distance relationship? He might be in Mornington. That's not long no, distance. No, we want long distance, That's Eric. Hit her I, up. She'll look. She'll look. She'll look on my channel when she gets back. Comment down below. Uh, will, then you'll have a point of contact, yeah. Eric. Yeah, I'm single, ready to mingle. All right. Nice. Fruit. Festival. Woodstock fruit. fruit, fruit the Woodstock fruit. fruit festival. Beautiful. Every awesome. Every August in New York. They some come of these from all over the world. Some of these people will be over that way. Yeah. Oh, two, yeah, two hundred nineteen thousand. Come to Australia. It's come to Australia. Time. Get away from that. The, beach, the beaches are beautiful. Yeah. We're very friendly. We just met some backs going up to Dumana to the beach, so they're off for the day. We're there. friendly, especially our crocodiles, <laughs> blue ring jellyfish, stingrays, redback spiders, ground snakes, um, birds of prey. All what else locals. have we got? What yeah, all the local flora, fauna, fauna, fauna rather. Yeah. What else have we got? We've got uh, we've got shingles as well. We've got women that will probably, you know. You've got to be careful with the girls over here. Got that right. You've got there to rush, rescue you to the ground. <laughs> hey, Straker says single, single mingle. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, this is no laughing matter. What was his name? Uh, Straker. Straker? No laughing matter. <laughs> I've just, I've just come back from the Greek Islands. Oh nice. Went by myself. Oh, nice. Excellent. Good time. On a beautiful cruise. Oh, nice. Seabourne. That's what we Five star. Yeah, that'll be beautiful. nice. Lovely. There you go. So, right. so this Love lady goes. Old. This lady goes good places. Um, you want to meet somewhere nice? On, um, next year, I'm going to Copenhagen. All right. A vegan Thailand. island. Yeah. Vegan island. Yeah. Mm. Get like, healthy. Do you like vegan food? Yeah, I'm vegan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm. vegan as well. So, yeah. got to bear that in mind, guys. None of you meat eaters out there. <laughs> no animals. If you love animals, you can't eat them. No. Well, I don't think. How can you eat them if you love them? No, you can't. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, it's All right, a pleasure. take care. Okay. I'm, I'm, Say hello. I'm, 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 you'll, you'll remember me? Yeah, yeah, Lisa. Of course you will. Thank take you. care, Lisa. Oh, we'll come in okay. All right, Lisa. All right, Lisa. Be uh, good. Thank you. See, I told you, man. The girls over here, you've got to be careful. They're worse than the salties and the red back spiders. She forgot the sharks. And the sharks. <laughs> Got to be careful. Possibly the most. Uh, well, you've heard the song. Down under the song. Down under. The 
women roar, the men thunder. It is true. So she's sweet. All right. She has pushed me down this way. You gotta watch out for the pesky chefs, yeah. Oh, we got the Christmas stuffs coming in, look. I think, I think Michelle's found someone else. I've lost her. She's off with a reindeer. Hey, Koi Nadi. Well, we're having a bit of fun. See, we have got to be careful. I've got Michelle with me. If Michelle wasn't with me, I might have uh, had to score a trip to the Greek Islands for next year. Oh dear. What's that? Nothing, 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 nothing. I would take you into Dan Murphy's, but I know they won't let you in Dan's. And alcohol and beer here is, is pretty expensive. Okay, yeah, it is summer. Sorry, who said that? Raven, uh, it's, it is summer down here, but we still have Christmas. We have Christmas in the summertime. You can't change the dates of Christmas. It's not. It's not like you. We can just wait and, and have it. How are you? Good. Looking good, man. <laughs> so you can't change the dates. Christmas is Christmas. It's going to be in the. It's going to be in the summertime. They try with their Christmas in July, don't they? Oh, they do. Some people have a bit of a Christmas in July celebration, but it's not the same. So we have it in. We have it in the winter rather than have it in the, the summertime. But no, you're just going to have to adapt the way you eat. So we go for um, snags on the barbie, down the beach. It's quite hard because you can see all the all the Christmas uh, fair and everything around. Still got pictures of Santa Claus and all the snow and everything like that. And we're sat here. It's going to get hotter and hotter. Yeah, yeah the eye flash. Yeah. Now, kids have to wear helmets in Australia. I don't know if that's the same where you are, but it's basically the law. You've got to wear helmets. Where it's not just the kids, it's supposed to be everyone. Oh, adults as well. So it's a bit of a pain in the backside, actually, this because <laughs> whenever you want to just go out for a little ride, you've got to put a helmet on. So, I'm going to sit down for a moment, just around here, have a little chat, do some questions and answers. It's a bit bright around here. Now I'm going to probably wrap up because I wanted to, somebody asked last week whether we could come down and do uh, an Australian supermarket. So I just wanted to get in there. So if you missed that, you can you know, watch this back later on. We had a little wander around the supermarket, gave some prices. Um, but Apart from that, I, a lot of my friends do this uh, live streaming and they seem to be able to do it for sort of four or five hours. I, I tend to sort of run dry a little bit after about 45 minutes. <laughs> what do you think, Michelle? Well, it depends where we are, doesn't it, what we're doing, you know, but you can only walk around the supermarket so many times. The greyhound there. Oh, just coming around the corner. There he is, the beauty. <laughs> so, um... Could you create an easy, quick Christmas cake? You can. I mean, you have to try to um, recreate the aging of a good Christmas cake, but it isn't too difficult to do. We should maybe make a note, do like yeah. a, a, a quick Christmas cake. Let's go see what these are up to. Go on, I'll interact with someone else. I'll go and, go and annoy these kids. So, yes. So in New Hampshire, it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that in Celsius? That's pretty cold, isn't pretty it? Pretty cold. It must be getting down pretty cold. Not quite the zero, but getting there. Have we got mid-twenties today again, you reckon? More sushi stuff, Raven. I, I will try. I mean, would you guys be really disappointed if I did a little less cooking and a bit more traveling? I think probably you would be. I'll try and do some cooking, but it's hard to get the traveling done and the cooking at the same time. And we've got, um, we've got to try and get more food into the, uh, the trips. But I think sometimes, you know, so zero, 40 is zero Celsius. Okay, it's a bit warmer here. 
<laughs> yeah. A wild Eric, um, wild animals. Well, we ha we had was it Lisa? Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. <laughs> we saw Lisa. She's pretty wild. Now we get we get uh, kangaroos and we get uh, you know you get the uh, possums. I think you have to go more north to get the more dangerous animals. We don't have the sort of tigers and lions and things over here. No, we have just the crocodiles. So yeah, more travel cooking. That'll be good. This fella's doing a bit of photography. You're doing some photography, are you? Yeah. What do you reckon? Pardon? What do you reckon? You, it's a bit bright, the sun, isn't it? For, yeah. For shots around here, a bit, a bit strong. But you can Just vlogging out some stuff on oh, YouTube. Yeah. But um, what sort of photo photography are you doing? Oh, I'm just, we've just got a little piece of shots of each other. All right. So yeah. what's that, an Olympus? It's an Olympus OG, yeah. Okay, cool. Koala bears, yeah, we have koala bears, but they're not really wild animals, is it, Jan? I mean, we have drop bears, don't we? Yeah. Drop bears are pretty vicious. Got to watch out for those. It's sort of koala bear, but um, they drop out the trees. Yeah, you got to be careful with the drop bears. Yeah, drop out the trees, land on your head, this fella. What's your name? Oh, my name's Matt. Do you mind, Matt? Yeah, no, go ahead. Sorry. Diana. Diana and Matt. So Matt's out here doing photography. He's doing some bit of fashion photography. This is model, Diana. Is Oh no, just for fun. Just for fun. Oh, it's always yeah. good for fun. But it's Steve's kitchen. Uh, yeah, I'll do some more travel cooking as well. I will do some. But at the moment, we're just doing too much travelling. <laughs> Not many vloggers actually interact with local Australians. <laughs> <laughs> They're so. quite friendly. <laughs> what's, the, um, what's the channel? Uh, Steve's Kitchen. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Uh, see you guys. Yeah, see Take you. care. Drop us a comment, say hi. Um, I'll, I'll talk to any. I love talking to people. Problem is, sometimes I'm like there, you know, hello, and they all sort of they get frightened. Ooh, who's that? Because <laughs> I'm a big chatter, chatterbox, natterbox. All the kids are out on their bikes today. So it's a lovely day, so everyone's out. Um, you, one thing you'll find, if I go vlogging <laughs> around the world and take you like this, you're going to get to meet people. Uh, I do notice, I get a bit frustrated sometimes when I see people doing a vlog and they go past something really interesting and they don't walk up to the people and talk with them. With me, I'm, I'm going to be... I'm going to be in there chattering. Yeah, they drop the camera low and lower the voice. <laughs> yeah, I, I see quite often you'll you'll see people vlogging and they're they go really quiet because they're around people. You know, they sort of talk really quietly because they don't want to disturb people. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, sometimes I think Michelle wishes I would shut up. Yeah, I'm used to it. Sometimes I get a nice rest. I just sit, feet up. Our lady comes back. <laughs> I need. Oh, look at this bu bus over here. Oh, that's cool. That's a camper, isn't it? It's a camper bus. Can I zoom? No. I did. Oh, you did? did zoom. Um, oh. Wait a minute. Unzoom. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Nice blue camper. That's a Toyota, I think. Yes. That's got the same ah, logo yes, that those guys had on saw. their so jacket. That's a Toyota. No, it's not a Toyota logo, is it? No, it's not. So that's a coaster. So it's a Toyota coaster. They, they make great conversions. I know in the US you have a lot more uh, choices of vehicles. In Australia we don't have so many. And if you want to go for the bigger size camper conversion, this is a good option. Toyota, really reliable. Uh, lots of spare parts. They run them as school buses over here. So. Uh, reasonably easy to maintain, long mileage, diesel engines, um, so they're a good, a good option. So yeah, if I go out and about, I'm going to end up talking to everybody. So we could get some quite interesting, um, how pretty is this garden? Now that is a typical Australian house, you have the picket fence, uh, the little archway here, you've usually got some flowers growing over the top of it, and then colours coming out for spring. So I think um, I think we're going to wind up. We've been almost uh, 55 minutes 
and once I get into the suburbs back here it's going to get quite um we'll go back through past the shops see if I can harass anybody else but it would be nice if there was something very uh, food specific that we could uh, get out that we could vlog today but there's no real big events on around here so we're just taking you out for a little chat and a walk hit that thumbs up there's 20 of you in nine thumbs up hit the thumbs up see if we can match thumbs up to the viewers it's such a nice day the speed by the way for those of you that are interested 60 kilometers an hour and then it goes down to 50 kilometers an hour kids Cars. Kids in cars. See you, Craig. Hi, Anne. So we will do some cooking on the road, but we are going to do a lot more travel, travel and food, and chats like this, and when certain events come up. I mean, I've done. Christmas for the last five years or so on YouTube so I've got all the recipes for Christmas puddings um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Christmas food so you can see up there if you want to get your Christmas pudding started now's the time uh, you, actually you should have done it a little while ago but now still that plenty of time to get those Christmas puddings but you did Christmas pudding in a mug Christmas pudding in the mug if you want something that's super quick and gives you all that flavour of Christmas pudding that works really well. Luxury Christmas pudding in the in a mug is another one that I did which actually you can make your own custard uh, in a mug. Um, and every year I make my own mincemeat, sweet mincemeat. So you can actually, you really should make your own mincemeat so you can make your own mince pies. And you can make lots of mince pies. Yeah. I've got to watch the steps here, I don't want to fall down with you guys. They're all marked bright and yellow. So I've got, what else have we got? I mean, we have a lot. There's a Christmas playlist on the channel. You can make actually um, a Nutella Christmas tear of bread. There's, um, yeah, that's the one I meant, the Christmas yeah, tree shaped Nutella. Italy, the, the yeah, we did that. Nutella. We've got uh, Christmas cake. So if you want to make a last year we did a Maltese cake um, which is basically look like a great big plum pudding and got a decorated gingerbread house yeah if, most years a lot of you may make gingerbread houses I've got a recipe on the site that shows you how to construct the gingerbread house and how to decorate it we've got lots of Christmas cookies um, lots of Christmas desserts I've got a Christmas ham if you want to make your own ham if you're pavlova. interested pavlova. Christmas pavlova because we always have a paddle over at Christmas because it's too, imagine right, it's too hot to um, to just have like all these heavy hot meals. So we tend to have lighter meals and that's why the paddle over is such a classic. Um, but if you want to make a Christmas ham yourself, uh, you know, you can buy a leg of or a shoulder of, of meat and there's a recipe there to show you how to salt, cure and brine the ham, um, fresh ham. It's so much nicer than shop-bought ham, sometimes. I mean, if you get a good delicatessen that has really good hams, they, they can be good. But most of the supermarket hams, sadly, are not that great. So if you want to get that really authentic, crumbly, salty ham, make it yourself. And it's like with everything, start with good ingredients. Can I get a little drink of water? So I have hundreds of Christmas recipes, probably close to 100 different Christmas recipes if you want to check them out. What's that one say? Joan. Oh, hang on. It's not, I wonder why it said, Craig, see you. So we've got a, a land, hi guys. We've got a land Hello. Road. Where are you guys off to? So it's the law, you've got to wear hats in Australia, so this fellow's under arrest. Pay the fine. He's got his hat. Are you guys live streaming? Yeah, we are. Oh, hey, Kelly, how are you? You're back in. Yeah, these lads, it's what are they? One, two, three, four, six of them. 
Yeah, go on in. Uh, um, go subscribe to the Oreo channel. The Oreo yeah. channel. Yeah. Have you done any videos? Uh, no. How many people well, watching? Come to a video. How, How many people watching? There's just 20 of them. Oh. Steve's kitchen. Oh, Steve's kitchen. I'll go subscribe. This one. All right. Oh, all right. Check it out. Steve's kitchen. Steve's kitchen is subscribed. So, I think... Um, did somebody else just super chat me? Because there's a there's something up there. Yeah, the Christmas pudding. Sorry, Pavlova, we've done. Um, Michelle, Cynthia says hi. Hi, Cynthia. See you guys. See you guys. Hey, where, where are you heading to now? Uh, we're going back to Benson's Junior College. Going. All right. Is that a good place to ride? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go riding. Yeah. 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 I'll go subscribe. Yeah, you will do. All right. And I'll or the Oreo. The Oreo channel. channel. The Oreo How many channel. subscribers you got? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, you have enjoy. You, you do have to. Okay, well, you have to make the videos don't too. Don't slack. Yeah, got to start somewhere. Don't slack. Get some stuff. Get. <laughs> and you guys. So there's some good cycling, there's some good parks around here. The, the lads are probably off to one of the parks, but we've got some really nice skate parks. Um, so you'll see, it's still popular to be, the, the lad on the, is, they still got some on scooters. There's one there on a scooter, um, several. But even on the, protect your noggin, that's right. Um, that's right, Kelly, protect your noggin. I mean, that's the thing in, they, they brought these rules out, I think, probably about 15, 20 years ago. And they said, you know, everybody's got to wear helmets, and it is a good thing. Um, but it does kind of mean that you can't just go out for a ride without a helmet on, because uh, it's just the way it is. Good day. Look at these two. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. They're cute, aren't they? What are those two little fellas? They're, They're Pomeranians. They are Pomeranians, are they? Yeah. Do you mind if I film them? No. Not at all. They're so cute. But they're not actually mine, but they're mine. No, no actually. worries. That's a broad, doggy sitting. That's a broad Scottish accent. Sitting, are you? Yeah. yeah. So what are they that's, called? That's Jess and that's Jess Misha. and Misha. Oh, Jess and Misha. Look Misha. at these guys. To give you an I idea. We were house sitting for some um, little chihuahuas, chihuahuas last week. We're not house sitting there in our house. Oh, they're actually in your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we've just been up at a nursing home visiting my mum. They went down so well in the oh, nursing home. They do. They like to see oh, them. Oh, yeah. Down there. Like, sort of, what do they call them when they're the little dogs? Toy dogs. No, oh, no, but when dogs look at companion, <laughs> companion <laughs> dogs. No, they, they are. Yeah. They would make, make yeah. great companion yeah. dogs, wouldn't they? Yeah. 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 Well, you have fun All right. Yeah. See ya. We're just talking about Christmas. What's your, what's your favourite Christmas food? Come from Scotland. You, you, what, what do you miss from back home? What do I miss? Not, um, what do I miss? I know. People. The people. people yeah, yeah, people. The the, the atmosphere of, of yeah, the Scottish Christmas. Have you been there recently? No, I've been there for a long time. Don't have me there. Oh, yeah, so I'm not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I miss the people. Yeah. And I miss the food. Some yeah. food. Hot food. Not haggis. Time, not haggis, no. no. Because somebody was saying to me about getting over to Scotland this year and we, we should go over there and do a bit of film and get the food and there's, there's such good food over there, right? I reckon so. Yeah, I like it, but you know. All my friends are looking for iron brew over here. Iron brew, yeah. Uh, you, you can get iron brew now though, can't you? You can here, yeah, yeah. in places. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, iron brew is a really famous Scottish, Scottish drink. drink. It's a uh, second national drink. It is. And yeah. other national drinks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And tartan crisps or something. I think there's a oh, yeah. of chips up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. you have a good day. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Put her on the spot there. I did put her on the spot, but that's a lovely, rich... Now, I would say that's not necessarily Glaswegian, but it's getting on that side I of the, uh, the world. Well. So she's got that sort of... Uh, that sort of eat, laddie, that sort of Glaswegian, Weegian. she's probably from you know, somewhere around that, somewhere area. that area. I didn't like to ask her. Here's the, the girls that were, here's the girls that were bashing into my uh, channel earlier on. Bye girls.
Bye, hello. Steve's kitchen. Steve's kitchen. Hi, Cynthia. Protect your noggin. Just watch your Christmas pudding in a mug. Oh man, Michael, that is really. If, I love Christmas pudding, right? And I always make at least a couple almost every year, but sometimes since we've been traveling, you can't always get the Christmas puddings made earlier or travel with them. So to make a Christmas pudding in a mug gives you all that sort of flavor and heaviness and denseness of the Christmas pudding without all the extra work. So yes, Christmas pudding in a mug is good. The luxury Christmas pudding. I took ages working on those recipes. I tested and tested and tested them. Because we had to taste So it. hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I, I think if you follow it pretty closely, you end up with a Christmas pudding that tastes really close to an authentic pudding. Um, the only way you can really get an authentic um, Christmas pudding feel is to eat sort of turkey, ham, roast potatoes, roast parsnips, gravy, stuffing, completely fill yourself up so that you literally can't squeeze another thing in uh, and then have Christmas pudding. Because that's, that, is, that is Christmas pudding in a nutshell. It's basically an overly rich, overly dense pudding that you eat after you've eaten far too much food and everybody's sort of sat there going, oh, I want a big slice of you. Have a big slice of Christmas pudding. Bear in mind, this thing's really dense. And then custard. it looks like yeah. Custard and cream. Now you can have cream. you can have custard cream. You can have custard on it, English custard. You can have oh, I call it English custard. The French uh, our French friends call it creme anglaise, so it's English custard. You can have cream on it. You can have vanilla ice cream on it, and you can have brandy butter on it. Or you can have what I tend to have is custard ice cream, cream and brandy butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> so everything and then so you've got this little slice of Christmas pudding not that big you know not too big small about the size of a maybe a an orange say so you've got a little Christmas pudding all that stuff on top and you start tucking into it and you think suddenly uh, I've, I've over I've overstretched a little bit here got way too much on my plate but you still eat it and then you just sort of sit down in the chair and you can't move for an hour, you're stuffed. So it's the crowning glory on a big meal. So try it and then try it again um, after eating too much. Yum, Cynthia, scones and the clotted cream, cream. so good. Uh, Cynthia says she makes uh, the scones and the clotted cream for Thanksgiving breakfast. Oh, nice. That would be perfect. Yeah. So nice. So that's the other thing. Before you've had your Christmas dinner, you've eaten all the chocolates and the Christmas presents, <laughs> and then probably had breakfast as well. Yeah. Now this so. takes us back to when we were kids. So you've eaten all those. Oh, nice those. Colour. Oh look, there's a Jeep Cherokee. Uh, Jeep um, Wrangler. Wrangler. In orange. Now that I could have. <laughs> Hi Sharon, how are you? Nice. I should just ch turn the camera around, but that was a beautiful Jeep just went by. A Wrangler in orange. That's almost my perfect car. If I won't, don't let the yellow Jeep hear that. But um, my hand's getting a little bit stiff now. So yes, Michelle, you're saying you've eaten your chocolates. You've had your breakfast, your, your special Christmas breakfast. You've opened your. Might be. You've had your chocolates. You've had your oranges. You've had your oranges and tangerines your tangerines because that's traditional Christmas time. And you had your, you were like this a Terry's chocolate orange. Always have one of those. Oh, not so keen on those. <laughs> and too, then too you have heavy. your whole Christmas dinner, followed by your whole Christmas pudding. And then you ask your mum what's for tea. No, Eric. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving is not really celebrated in, in Australia. So a lot of my friends, I was saying to Michelle the other day, what, what have we done Thanksgiving recipes? And we haven't really done that much because Thanksgiving is something that passes by over here. I was lucky enough to be in the US in Michigan a couple of years ago um, when they were celebrating Thanksgiving and I, I was invited to some friend's house um, and it was wonderful. A really- my first Thanksgiving now we used to have many years ago. Some of you might remember this if you're if you've got um, Australian or, or British ancestry. Um, we used to have like a harvest festival, 
And I, I reckon, ah, look at this fella. This one here. have harvest festival which is the same same sort of thing it's a thanks for the harvest letting everybody know that um you know it's it's harvest festival time it's a similar thing it's a, a sort of time to to count your blessings that that all the crops have come in so we used to have that but some reason just died out. Yeah. so i am going to oh there's more people coming in <laughs> sean's coming in good morning Thank you, Sharon. Have I missed anything? I hope I haven't missed too much. We, we are going to wind up. I know there's 25 people, 26 people in at the moment. Um, or should we do one more round? Well, it's unless you're asking you any more questions. You get more questions just there. If I went back over to the, the supermarket now, I'd come out with chocolate, so I can't, I can't be doing <laughs> that. Um, no, we're, going to, we're not going to go back to the shops. Sean, it is beautiful um, and sunny today. That is correct, Duane. We should we should be, and I uh, I think there are. My philosophy in life really is to be more thankful year round rather than just once a year. Um, I think it's. You know, Thanksgiving is nice and there's all these sort of events that tell you when you should be thankful for this, that and the other. Um, getting a bit philosophical, philo philosophical now. But, but I think, realistically, sometimes that excuses people to do what they want. It's a little bit um, like absolution, really. You kind of like do what you like and then suddenly get give, you know, forgiven for things. So I think it's important that we remember more, t more throughout the year uh, just how lucky we are. Uh, and when you get the opportunity to do good, do it then rather than just once a year. But it is nice, and I, I like the history of Thanksgiving. I like the idea that it's around the world, everybody brings in their crops, and if the harvest has been good, and look at this dig pigs. You got a dig pig, dig pig, dig pig. I've been coming to this suburb for oh, many years. And these guys have always been here and they've got the uh, pink number plates. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see it. So this guy's got I'm I'm pig, dig pig, you're passing another pig. <laughs> so cool. And he's got another one over on the other side, but he hasn't got a custom number plate on that one. Hi Sandra. Beautiful weather. You've probably got nice weather in Malaysia as well at the moment, Sandra. We're a good team. We're a good team. Oh, we were a good team. <laughs> the A team. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, oh. suddenly get a, a strike. Strike. Copyright strike. So, from one very, very, very typical Australian suburb. The bottle washes out. I don't like to go when there's 25 people. I know. That's why they're called. Look at these. Do you have bottle brushes? We're all over us. We have these. And I found the other day, Jan, she's a keeper. Oh, you're a keeper. I'm a keeper, of course. <laughs> uh, actually, it looks a bit like the, the microphone that I've got does, on the top so. of the camera. Um, at night time, these look really pretty. You come out at night, and for some reason, they seem to almost glow. Right. Now we're not in Perth, Sean. We're in um, we're in uh, Victoria at the moment. We've got to go to. Um, we're going to be staying in Victoria for the next sort of four to five weeks, four weeks maybe, and then we've got a trip up to Sydney, and then and we've got a hopefully then a trip to Tasmania. That's the plan. Is it stable enough? I know everybody always has these uh, gimbals, but I think it's stable enough. To watch it and see, we don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, we're going to be going up to Sydney. Uh, we hopefully be in Sydney for Christmas time, which will be kind of fun. Lots to see there. And um, 
Petra, you're welcome. Um, and then, uh, some big plans. I'm not going to say about them yet because they're not fully <laughs> formed, but they're going to be food fantastic. And it isn't going to be necessarily cooking, but you are going to see some of the most amazing food. Um, and you'll have me uh, attacking people on the streets and talking to them, making them uncomfortable and chatting with them. So that'll be fun. Uh, fly the drone. Um, we we have flown the drone quite a bit. I've got to learn to incorporate the drone. I don't know about you, uh, you, you out there. You, sorry, users are a very Australian term. I don't know about you, you all, but sometimes I feel like drones are a little bit overused, and uh, I want to kind of use them um, more relatively. Now, having said that, in future, if you think I'm, I'm overusing it because we've got some really fantastic trips planned, uh, you'll let me know. But I think we're going to have some pretty good drone footage uh, over the next two or three months. So look out for that. Anyway, you will see that when it comes. Everybody, take care. Love to you all. From Michelle and I, uh, me in my Share the Love Steve's Kitchen t-shirt. I think they are available online. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, maybe. But uh, I've got one anyway, so na 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 na. I've got one too, but I'm not wearing it. No. <laughs> uh, from us here in beautiful, sunny Australia, share the love, be good. Comment down below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you for some fun in another video, which we've got one going up very shortly. Um, yes, uh, there's so, one going yeah. up tomorrow morning, morning late night. evening for people there. Yeah. Be good. <laughs> Take care. Ciao. Bye. Arrivederci.